So again, great place, but may not be the spot for you. The first place we're gonna talk about is Stratford Hills. Now I want you guys to know that I really like this neighborhood because I love all the hills. It reminds me actually of the area that I grew up in Northern Virginia, where it's real hilly, a lot of the places have basements, it's very natural, lots of trees, and just the architecture of the homes. Now, for people though that are looking for those newer places, um, a more, you know, a more current architecture, something that was built past the 60s, uh, something that has all the new roads and super easy access to everything. And also, like all the new shopping centers with all the big stores, Stratford Hills probably is not the place for you. Now, if you love to be out in nature, if you run a lot, if you love to kayak and paddleboard, if you want to be super close to the river and, and great access to pony pasture, this would be a great neighborhood for you for sure. Uh, property taxes are going to be a little bit higher because you are technically in the city of Richmond, so it's going to be much higher than if you're being in one of the counties like in Henrico or Chesterfield. It's definitely going to be higher. And one other thing to keep in mind too is there is an active train that does run through Stratford Hills on a regular basis. So depending on where the house is located, if you're right on the tracks, you're going to have to be okay with the sound of the train several times during the day. So just keeping that in mind sort of thing. But great neighborhood, just not the perfect spot for you if you're looking for a newer home, the newer communities, the real modern highways, super close to super you know, flashy shopping centers that have all the new great stores. And if you wanna be super, super convenient to a lot of places, this might not be the spot for you. Next place we're gonna talk about is uh, Tuckahoe, which is in um, the western part of Henrico. So, first off, love this spot. Actually lived over there for several years as well. My kids went to the great schools over there. Here are some reasons why it may not be the great spot for you is there is a lot of congestion. Uh, 64 is kind of your outlet in and out. Yeah, you've got 295 that kind of goes into different things, but you literally are just going to always be traveling through the city to get in and out of the area for sure. The other thing that may not be the spot for you is kind of like most of the houses were built a little bit later on. Um, and if you are not really into the very, what I would say like the quintessential Richmond house, which is very colonial, a lot of them don't have garages, um, you have this cute little side porch sort of thing, but you're going to have to be okay with that. Um, and if you're not looking for a two-story, it's going to be really tough for you to find a rancher. But again, a great area. Um, lots of wonderful parks, super central to everything. You are literally in the middle of everything. But if traffic isn't your thing, and also if you're looking for kind of more unique shopping um, opportunities, Taco probably isn't the spot for you. All right, next place we're gonna be talking about Chester. So don't get me wrong, this is an excellent part of the county and there's a lot of growth there, but it is definitely the furthest portion out from the city and definitely if you're looking to get to the West End, um, it's gonna take you 45 minutes to an hour to get out there. So again, if you're trying to go somewhere on a Friday night, check out, you're gonna be there for a while. Keep in mind that you know average houses were built like in the 1970s, mid 1970s, and your median price point is definitely gonna be more affordable, kind of more the 250s. So it could be a really good spot for people that want to be in the Richmond area and get something a little bit more affordable but you just need to be prepared that it's going to be a little bit further out. Taxes are definitely going to be less expensive than they are in the city but they are going to be a little bit more expensive than they are in uh, say Henrico. So really when it comes down to you're going to pay it one way or another either in your taxes or in the house price that you're doing things. So again Chester great area but if you're looking for something to be a little bit closer in and, and central to things not the spot for you. So the last place we're going to talk about is the city of Richmond, which definitely is a unique bit to itself. Um, so drive time for the city, that might seem kind of, um, of an oxymoron, but your drive time is really going to be spent trying to find parking. And again, this is coming from a girl that is like Burbs girl through and through. Love the city, have so many clients and awesome things I love to do in there, but that's definitely something to keep in mind. Walkability for the city of Richmond kind of varies. Um, you definitely have spots where it's very walkable, but it's spread out into so many different sections. So I wouldn't say that you could really easily access everything by foot. The prices, they, they range so incredibly. You literally, where certain spots, it is your median price is like 500,000 uh, plus and other ones where they're up to, uh, unupdated older places and that's like in the, in the mid 200s. So it's gonna vary a lot. Of all the areas for the Richmond area, it is going to be the highest because it is in the city and the, the taxes are definitely higher. Ages of home. Now, if you love older homes, the city of Richmond is probably gonna be your best bet. 
because you're talking about late 1800 to kind of the mid 1950s. So you can see where there's a really amazing range there. And uh, you know, big thing to always keep in mind too is in certain areas that are just absolutely beautiful in the city, and we have some amazing things in the city of Richmond, beautiful museum district, wonderful things by the university. It's just some really great history, but you may be paying $800,000 for this uh, really neat looking house on the outside that needs to be completely gutted and redone. And also these are older homes, so it's definitely gonna be more expensive to renovate and also probably a lot of architectural guidelines that you have to go by. So again, great place that may not be the spot for you. So there you have it. Those are some places that you may not want to live in Richmond, Virginia. Thank you again so much for tuning in and remember, leave everything better. Once again, if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living Richmond, Virginia, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that bell too so you're notified every time we release a new video.